tomorrow. When we walk, we should respect each other. But uh, I did mention last time that the way they treated our former president and the way they continue to treat him, it, has, it is as though he's a pariah. There's no recognition that leadership is from God and any one of us can be a leader in this republic. And therefore, those of us who are privileged at a certain point in time must respect those that have gone, those that have passed, and those that are living, and those that are still waiting. But uh, our colleague is not of that mental disposition. Madam he president. is, I am the president, and therefore, he watch what I do. And what worries me is that in the region, internationally on the African continent, mm -hmm. we are being alienated as a nation because we are be being seen as a nation who has a boastful leader. Absolutely unheard of that a leader should stand up, especially if you are a new person in an organization such as SADC, such as the Comesa, such as AU. You need to take a back step and observe and watch, but don't address others as if they have just come tomorrow and here you are, it has happened on you. You have the, the monopoly of knowledge on earth. Just on that one, uh, on the international community, Zambia has been seen to be, uh, like the president said, catering back the confidence. Uh, it could be in investors or any other partners. And here on the local scene, in the communities and the Zambian citizens do not show, or rather do not get to have that feel. Why, why there's so much difference? On the international community, people may look up to Zambia to say, well, Zambia is making good strides, and Zambians, we ourselves, we cannot see anything of such nature. Why the difference? Oh, well, um, the international community, when you define it, I define my international community as uh, the surrounding states. Right. If I'm in Zimbabwe, what do they say about Zambia? If I'm in South Africa, what do they say about Zambia? On the continent, we don't have, we are not uh, accumulating any respect. When you say international, you are talking of America, and uh, we know that uh, America, at different points in time, will choose which side to support. And uh, there is a, a PR campaign in the investor community to grab our resources. And our president is a willing player. He's a hard-nosed international capitalist. He's not a development economist. He's not a, a pro poor president. Uh, when you say respect internationally, what is your definition, Mr. Mwemba, of international? Do they respect him in China? Do they respect him in Russia? This is a person who has put a curtain between the various blocks and has no understanding of international diplomacy. So the people who are showering with him with accolades mm -hmm. are those who have something to take from him. He is an, an enabler. And I, I quote Mr. Blinken, he says, we are extremely excited to work with the President Hika in the Ichilema because he doesn't want the Chinese. And out he comes here and, uh, you know, I, I don't know what word to use, but naively, he kicks out the Chinese. They packed away from here, the investors, the industrialists, they packed away from here without notice. He just announced, he went to cabinet and said he was cancelling all projects to the tune of $3 billion. If you are constructing Masaiti Dam, you were just told, our government has stopped this project. If you were at an international airport, you know our airport is not completed, mm -hmm. you were told you are leaving. And uh, uh, by the way, that investment is what our people used to get some 
salaries to be able to put mini meal on the table. So when you say at home here he's not respected, true, because there's hunger, there's poverty, there is absolute despair on the street. You go to the hospitals and, and you need a presidency that cares for the people. We didn't elect him for the international community. We elected him for our warfare. Right. He is not elected. He's not Washington. He's not Biden. Biden could be outgoing in the next two months. Uh, you know, in the next one week. I mean, do I eat America? No. Uh, the Americans have their life. They have their culture. But uh, when you come here at home, the president has no orientation of his surroundings. And it's, it's quite a tragedy. It's quite a tragedy. And I, 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 I liken him to uh, the leaders in the Bible who don't listen. Uh, this kind of leader is there in the Bible. And uh, uh, I like to quote uh, Ahab in uh, Second Kings. Mm -hmm. He gathers 4,000 prophets, and they all sing the same. Oh, our king, if you go and attack uh, this nation, you're going to win 400. The majority say we are going to win. And there comes one person who says, you know what, please don't. And he gets angry and throws Makaya into jail. That's exactly what President Againde uh, is doing. There, the Bible is abound with lessons of people who behave in a similar manner and they get destroyed. If you like listening to yourself, I'm good, I'm good, you fail your exam. A clever student is one who practices. It doesn't matter whether you're a genius or not, you still